Looking to get better audio quality in Zoom? It's possible with just a few changes in the settings. I'll show you how to do it next on Brand On Broadcasting. Hey gang, Ross Brand here for LivestreamUniverse.com. Welcome to Brand On Broadcasting. We're going to talk about how to upgrade your audio quality in Zoom. If you're like me, there's been many times where you've been in a meeting or you've done a presentation or recorded a podcast episode and you've come away not quite satisfied with the audio quality of the recording that you get in Zoom. Well, recently I learned that there's some small tweaks you can make in the settings that can make a huge difference. What we're going to do is we're going to turn off most of Zoom's processing that they add to your audio so that your natural sound that comes from your computer into Zoom will go straight in without the processing that Zoom adds. That processing works best if you're in a noisy environment. Maybe you're using a, a mic that's far from you or the built-in mic in your webcam or computer or you're using ear pods or some other type of Bluetooth mic. Then you might not want to make these changes. If you have a quiet setting and a good microphone and headphones, if you are going to be in dialogue with anyone, you probably have the ability to upgrade your audio quality by following these steps. There's several different ways to get to your preferences and your settings in Zoom. In this case, I'm just going to go down here next to where it says start video and click that little up arrow and I'm going to choose video settings, and then once I get there, I'll just hop over to audio settings. Um, you have your microphone selected. If you're still with us, you probably already know this, but if you're using an audio interface or you're using a mixer or you're running audio through HDMI, you select whatever's sending the audio into your computer. So in my case, I'm not selecting my microphone. I'm selecting my mixer audio interface, which is the Mix Pre 3. If you have a USB microphone plugged right into your computer, then you would select that. Okay, let's get to the settings. First setting to take a look at is input volume. Do deselect if it's selected where it says to automatically adjust the microphone volume. You want to be setting your own microphone volume, not letting Zoom adjust it as you're talking. Uh, and then you want to also make sure that the input volume is set to the highest level, and then you'll control your gain in your computer and or in on your mixer or audio interface. So that's the only change I make on this page. Then you head down to advanced, and this is where the magic happens. You put a check in the box here that says show show in meeting option to enable original sound from microphone. So you'll see this turn off original sound up here. If you see that turn off original sound, then you know you're now using your original sound and you're not using the processing. So here's the, the key settings. You go down to audio processing where it says suppress persistent background noise. I turn that to disable where it says suppress intermittent background noise. I turn that to disable and where it says echo cancellation, you have a choice between auto and aggressive and I set that to auto. And that's it. And that turns off the processing that Zoom applies to your audio. And again, the processing is there to help people. They're not using any type of audio gear, but if you're a podcaster, if you're a broadcaster, a presenter, a speaker, you probably have good audio gear at home and you can take advantage of that gear's ability to distribute that great audio quality without the need for Zoom's additional processing. Again, remember, good microphone, be close to the mic, wear headphones if you're going to be in any type of dialogue while you're live on Zoom, and be in a quiet environment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out another video.